Hello, I'm Jo Garden of Jo Garden Art and here is the finished sculpture uh, called Free Spirit. Uh, this video is about how she was made. She is a typical um, size and type that you can actually make yourself during a two-day workshop. Um, I finished her just in a plain colour rather than gilt so she doesn't have the bronzing finish that I normally put on because I quite like the way that the sunlight is capturing the dimples. She's got clay um, as a substructure. Uh, she weighs 12 kilograms, so very, very hefty. A lot of that is in this base plate, so she can actually uh, cantilever off. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks very much. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Reeds drifting on by, you know I feel. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. Ooh. And I'm feeling good. I'm now um, at the stage where I've finished putting tinfoil on, which gives the, the body outline of the hair. And as you can see, I keep a very thin profile. Um, this is not an exact hair shape. It's just something to represent um, a running hair that's twisting around a corner. Um, I think it looks quite dynamic like this. I love this stage. Wouldn't it be nice to actually just keep it in the tinfoil, but it doesn't really look right um, close up. Um, normally during the workshops, and I've got a little one day hair workshop example here of a moon gazing hair, we use plaster to, to create the, the main body. Um, but today I'm going to use clay on this particular hair. I used it on the sculpture balance, which was the tall handstand man that's on one of the other YouTube videos. And I thought I'd try it out on one of these um, larger hairs. You may think, how on earth does something keep upright? Well, the, the foot and the main bars that are going through here are a really tough angle iron. And that has been welded on by Andy. Um, and onto a very thick plate. It weighs a lot. I'll tell you how much the whole thing weighs at the end, but the actual plate itself is really, really tough um, and, and very strong. So hopefully it will all keep up. If you're watching this video, it's, it's worked. Um, so I'm going to be using that. Now, uh, if anybody comes on a two-day workshop, you'd be able to do this. Um, 
I don't put in things like eyes and nose, anything where a detail might go wrong and therefore make the whole sculpture look strange. So I keep it very abstract, very um, linear, and it's a process that I can help anyone do. That's a promise. Woo. Um, finally, uh, I'm going to restart the song again because I really like this. When the He Hughes, which um, uh, has kindly provided the background music to my uh, YouTube videos, when they sent me through this CD, I saw that Feeling Good was one of their songs and I love this version. So I'm going to start it again because um, I need that length of, of music to go all the way through um, until the end of this process. So I hope you don't mind. It's a lovely song and I will start it again. Um, enjoy. Birds flying high, you know how I feel. Sun in the sky, you know how I feel. Reeds drifting on by, you know I feel It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life Ooh. And I'm feeling good <laughs> It's a 